Oh, hey, girl. How you smelling today, boo-boo? All right, you guys. Woo, woo, woo. I ended up buying myself three by number nine. Yay. So, bitch, I have my thoughts. Ooh, I got my thoughts, honey. Boo-boo. So, bam. This is how it looks. If you guys hear echo, you guys, I am filming in my living room, as you can tell. And I have really high ceilings, so please don't mind, okay? Y'all. I wish I had my nails on so I could be like, but no, I don't. Anyways, oh, I picked, I, I went to bar number nine and I got this for like around $300 or $400, $370, $340, $400, something, something like that. I picked this up around maybe two weeks ago and they were on sale for 30% off. So, don't be sleeping on button number nine if you want some, okay? This is how it opens. You guys, when I received the package, it was actually Lux. And you can also choose three samples, okay? So, ooh, bam! I'm doing this softly, bitch. No, hell no, I don't want to break these. So, it comes with Nolita. These are supposedly like their best sellers. This comes with Nolita, Tribeca, and Greenwich Village. Woo, woo. All right. I'm going to start off with the infamous, the one and only, the one that everybody loves. Are you ready? Are you ready? Bam! This is Greenwich Village, okay? So let's look at the bottle, y'all. This is actually matte. Like, you can't, I don't, it's matte, okay? So when you feel it, it feels so good, you guys. These are 1.7 ounce, 1.7, yeah, okay? So this fragrance is considered a floral, fresh, fruity, aquatic, powdery perfume. <sighs> now, let me tell you something. I was actually going to purchase, what was that? Purchase. I've been actually going to purchase. Anyways, I was actually going to purchase, you guys, the full bottle. I was between this one and Tribeca. And everybody, you guys, everybody loves Greenwich Village. Like, everybody. It's like the best seller. Everybody wears it. The, the, the girl, the girls, okay? They wear it. So I, I got it. I received it, right? And I was just like, oh, yes. I'm gonna, you know, like, like, I didn't even spray it like that. Nada. I just, like, sprayed it on. And I was like, whoa. Perate, perate, perate. Okay, so this has notes of orange blossom, praline, vanilla, oak musk. It has peony. It has ambroxan. Uh, I don't remember what else. So with all that, especially with the peony, right? I'm just like, oh, it has lychee. I was like, yes, bitch, give it to me, honey, boo boo. I know I'm gonna love it, bitch. No, okay, I'm just. If you love this baby, you love it, okay? But when I smelled it, I was, first of all, I was taking the foot back. I was like, it does have, <sighs> I hate seeing this, saying this because everybody says the same thing. As soon as you smell Ambroxan or something airy like that, it's, oh, it smells like Baccarat. Oh, it's, no, this does not smell like Baccarat, but it is in the family, okay? It does smell, Kind of like, there's something, something, maybe that's what it is, right? She, I don't know. But you know, let me tell you something. This on my skin doesn't blend. It doesn't become creamy. It doesn't become milky. It comes very annoying. Mm -hmm. Very, very annoying. You know what? I know that this has nothing to do with this baby, but my Flower Bomb Nectar does the same thing to me. Flower Bomb Nectar is a bomb at Hold on, baby. Don't, I don't want to lose you now, okay? Hold on, hold on, baby. But if you overdo it, it becomes annoying. So those are these are those type of fragrances that you have to be careful with. If you overdo it, you must do it. You did it too much, okay? But this is a beautiful fragrance, okay? For my girls that love smelling fresh and clean and like she just showered like... You know, she wash her colita, and then she spray this on. But bitch, don't overdo it, because it is a little annoying, like I said, and it is not my favorite. Hints on why I started with this one. It's not my favorite, 
I'm not, it, it's not going to go nowhere. I'm, I'm still going to try it out. I tried it, I tried it out two days or, yeah, around two or three days and bitch, I wanted to scrub it off. Yeah, so I'm kind of glad that I didn't go in with my absurd impulse of buying the full bottle just by wanting the full bottle. Let me tell you that this lasts for an eternity, okay? Una eternidad, it lasts forever on your skin, forever on your clothes, forever on your hair, the projection, longevity, all that in a, in a bag of chips is in here, honey boo boo. But it, this is not the scent for me. I don't like it. Mm, I don't like it that much. Mm -mm. I don't know if it's the lychee or the orange or, or what is it? Or is it the praline? I don't know. But anyways, this is the best, one of their best sellers. I think this trio is one of the best sellers, like the best fragrances. Greenwich Village? No for me. Okay. Are you ready to see the second one? What do I think? Bye! Tribeca. Wow, Tribeca. You know what? I don't know the notes of Tribeca, though. But I'm pretty sure it has vanilla. Because <laughs> every perfume has vanilla. Shit, I have my computer. I have my laptop in front of me, and it just died on me, okay? So we're just going to wing it. We're going to wing it. But, bitch. Tribeca, when I smelled this baby, now let me tell you something, something. I bought samples from Max Aroma and that's how I got to know Tribeca in New York. And when I saw the trio that it had Tribeca and it had um, Greenwich, I was just like, hell yeah, give it over here, give it over here. I was not interested in the this other fragrance that's coming up. But this smells, well, first of all, let me show you the bottle, honey. The bottle has uh, this, what is that, like crocodile? Like a crocodile? I don't know. It has a little star. Se mira, see. This is actually matte as well. So you, when you grab it, it has a grip to it. I love how it feels. <sighs> this is delicioso. Wow. This has coconut, I think, in it. So you know what? When I sprayed this on the first day, you guys, I went bike riding and I kind of got a whiff. I kind of got like a little migraine. I was just like whoa like i was not expecting that but wow this is sexy to me this is not dated this is actually very 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 like modern to me it has coconut and maybe this has praline too this must have ambroxan as well because it is the same background as greenwich it has the same background and it does smell like baccarat and it does smell like Ariana Grande. So you know how Ariana Grande has that cloud, that coconut in it? This does the same thing, you guys. This is creamy, milky. This is like, this takes you to the beach, but it also takes you to fall. And you know what? A lot of people say that it smells like, um, did I say that already? Oh, I don't know. A lot of people say that it smells like Baccarat Rouge with Ariana Grande cloud. And I do get that, but this is... More, you know how Ariana Grande has that more juvenile kind of like, and eh, she don't give too sh about not. This is a little bit more sophisticated. This is your uh, Ariana Grande cloud mother, sister, I don't know, best friend. This is actually good and delicious. And I think you can wear this year round. Now, there is a note in here that if you overdo it the same as Greenwich, you will get a headache. These last for a really long time, honey boo boo. The projection and longevity, it's 100% there. It, it ain't going nowhere. It's on your skin, on your hair, on your clothes, everywhere. This has to be one. Now, if I were to buy the 3.7 or whatever, this is one that I would actually buy because I love this scent. For fall, for winter, for fall and winter, for winter, yeah, I would do this year round. Thank you. I like it. And it is very different. So the difference between this one and this one, okay, they're similar, but not really, okay? Mm. They're similar, but mm, okay? This is very powdery, and it's that type of annoying powdery to my nose. I, 
I don't, I'm, I'm sorry, boo boo. I'm sorry if you love it. It probably smells good on you. Delicioso, extasioso, sabroso, fabuloso. Okay? But on me, it doesn't. So, powdery with lychee, which makes it a little bit not sour, no. Powdery, that's all I can say. Powdery with leech, lychee, okay? And that, that praline in there, I don't know, I don't know, it kind of throws me a little off. This one, bitch, this one's a little sour, okay? Like a sour pack, no, not really, but you know what I mean, right? This is sour, coconutty, baccarat rougey, Ariana Grande, this is good. Uh, that, that's, that's, all, that's all I gotta say, honey boo boo. This is good. In my personal opinion, I prefer Tribeca a thousand percent more than Greenwich Village. Not that Greenwich Village is not bueno, no bueno, but it's still good, okay? I love this. I love it. So I'm so happy I have that in my collection. All right. Tan, 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 tan. Leche con pan. Let's go into Bam! Nolita. Nolita? What? Oh my gosh. Bitch. Okay. I am a basic bitch. Y'all already know I am, right? Y'all already know. This smells to my nose like Victoria's Secret bombshell. But bitch, without the whole Victoria's Secret body spray, ya tu sabes, all that. This is like, you can smell shamani in a bottle. You can smell sophistication. You can smell sexy. This, bitch, this is a pity. This is sexy. Nolita, Nolita is sexy. Uh, the the 3.7 doesn't have like glitter on this on these lips. I don't know. I don't know. That just came into my head. I was like, where's my, my, my glitter in my, my fucking star and shit? I don't know. Anyways. This smells just like that. This is a um, floral, like a fresh floral Victoria's Secret fragrance, sexy. I, I hate comparing it to Victoria's Secret because Victoria's Secret is good. Like, you know, my best, my most complimented fragrance was Victoria's Secret, very sexy back then when I didn't have a lot of fragrances. That was my go-to in men, Women, everybody love that perfume. So I hate saying it like, oh yeah, like Victoria's Secret. You know what? I think we need to get out of that, right? What do you think? What do you guys think? Like I need, I, I think we need to like start saying like, yeah, this smells fucking fabulous, like sexy, okay? Anyways, it smells super sexy, like a sexy date night, bitch. You know what? I'm going to do a, a, a date night fall fragrances. And yeah, for sure, this is going to be in there. This is year round. This is fresh. You know what it smells like? Oh, this is so good, you guys. Um, this, I have this on right now. This smells like Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, like Juicy Couture, like, um, um, Oh my gosh, what is that other fragrance? Uh, in that same realm, like fruity, fresh, fruity, floral, freshy, sexy, date night, date night, definitely date night, like, bomb, just smell, oh my God, it just smells like bomb, bombshell, but like, like if bombshell didn't exist. I don't know how to explain it, you guys. This is, bam, this is fire, y'all. This is fire. I love this. Out of the three, Wait, I'm not done. Bitch, take that back. Hold on, because I still have my little samples. Y'all, where I leave my samples? Do you guys see? Oh, right here. Let me put them under. Okay. Now let's go into Lafayette Street. Uh, I ended up getting Lafayette because, hold on. This is going to be the quickie, okay? Quickie D. Okay, it's going to be quickie. Lafayette. I ended up purchasing it for my husband, the, the Max Aroma, the sample. And although we did love it, right? We loved it. There was something about it that I felt that was a little annoying, like a fresh note in there that was a little bit screechy, a little bit too much. 
but I kept that into myself because I did like how it smelled on my husband. It smelled actually very sophisticated, not like anything that he has, but that note in the background bothered me. Then he wore it again on a date night. Okay, we went on a date. Mm -hmm. We went to a delicious steakhouse, y'all, and it was fire. Oh my God, what is it called? In case you're here in Vegas. Oh shit, I hate doing this. You know what? I'm not even going to say it because I forgot the name. It's such Gardonos, Gardonos. Gard, I don't know. At the mall, at the, at the uh, fashion show mall, there's a steakhouse there. I recommend a Brazilian steakhouse. It's fab. It's good. So anyways, back to it. Okay. Gardonos. I don't know. Lafayette, he wore it, right? And I was like, wow, he smells good. But that note in his body doesn't blend with him. So I was just like, fuck. But I kept it to myself. So I wouldn't let him, like, so I wouldn't make him feel bad, right? So we're driving. Ya tu sabes. And then he's like, I'm like, baby, do you want me to, you want, you know, Christmas is buying. What's on your wish list, honey, boo boo? Christmas is coming. Yeah, what's on your wish list? And then, and then I'm like, I want to get you Lafayette. And he's like, He's like, no, no. He's like, I like it, but it's annoying. Like there's something fresh in there that's annoying. The same shit that I thought, y'all. So that's what we think about Lafayette. Like, no. And then it doesn't last that long. Like it does last on the clothes, but not on his skin. Like his skin like sucks it up. But I don't know, y'all. I haven't found that niche fragrance for my husband. That's Lafayette Street. Okay, moving on to Governor's Island. Governor's Island is so weird. Hold on, let me spray it. Okay. You know what? It's it's kind of like... Governor's Island takes me to... Angel Share by Killian, bitch. Like, you know how it's kind of boozy and it has that, that uh, spicy spicy it's a spice it doesn't smell like angel share but I, i'm like trying to pick it out in my head because it's kind of spicy that's that's what i'm trying to say angel share by killian is a spicy fragrance for me and so is some a jazz club from Mar, uh, mesa margiela kind of spicy it's kind of woody it's actually good you know what i'm gonna have my husband try this one out because this is kind of woody woody spicy cinnamony more for fall and winter. It's actually a very, Governor's Island is actually a good buy, you guys. Like, I never thought I would actually like Governor's Island, but indeed I do, for my husband. And you know what? Olive Bond 9 are, ugh, Olive Bond 9 are unisex. It's good, you guys. It's really nice, okay? So that's Governor's Island. Now, we have... Madison Avenue, y'all. Okay, here's another weird one for me that I was like, what the? Okay. Fresh, fruity, floral, regular, right? You're just like, okay, okay, okay. They all have that background of Bond 9, like a synthetic, a synthetic background to it that smells like shmoney. It really does, like, I know in many videos I've said this, right? But it does really smell like shmoney. I don't know why, but they do. Um, this one smells like sweet tarts. And I sprayed it on my skin and it became a bomb of sweet tarts. Madison Avenue smells like candy, like sweet tarts. What? And my daughter affirmed. She was like, mom, that smells so much like um like sweet tarts and like um sour patch i was like right so madison is actually like a mind okay it's just like like what so now i understand what everybody says about bond number nine that you there's a fragrance for everybody new york new york nights it's actually very good it does have that banana background to it too I don't know if it's full bottle worthy for me yet. It also has praline and caramel. It's actually very delicious, y'all, but um, it feels dated to me too. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'm going through something, something. Anyways, are you guys ready to know 
which one is my favorite bond number nine. Are you ready? The one that I recommend, these are the ones that I recommend. Wow, I'm 20 minutes in, okay. But I had a lot of fragrances to talk about. Nolita, by far, is my favorite. Here's the downside on Nolita. All of these fragrances do well. All of these fragrances project and have great longevity, except my favorite one, which is Nolita, bitch, why? Bond number nine. Do we need more oil up in here? Hmm? This one is Le compré unos panties moquinos pa' no, que pa modele y un perfume, un perfume bon. Bon. Ay, qué rico ay, qué rico huele. Ese culito es mío y ay, yo tengo los papeles. You know what? I heard that um, Carol G wears that um, Carol G wears that green perfume from Bond Number no. Nine. I don't remember what it's called, but it's a green one and it has horrible reviews, but supposedly that's how Carol G smells. But bitch, I be smelling like this and I wanna smell like this. So my favorite one is Nolita and then following that is Tribeca and then following that has to be Governor's Island, then um, New York Nights, um, Madison Avenue. Is it Madison Avenue? I think it's Madison Avenue. Madison Avenue, and then last but not least, Greenwich Village, okay? So that is my rating on bond number nine. If you like bombshell, if you like smelling girly, fruity, gr mm, sexy, mm, mm, mm. and if you like smelling like Baccarat with Cloud with Ariana Grande, bitch, get your hands on Tribeca and get your hands on Nolita. So you guys, before I go, I gotta shout out. Look at my little outfit. Look at my little outfit, y'all. Guess where I got this from, okay? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I got this from um, uh, Russell. Bitch, my, my fucking brain. I swear my brain is fucked up today. Charlotte Russ. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This, um, y'all already know my head is like this, okay? Anyways, shout out. And the shout out goes to Idalta. All right, you guys. So if you want to be shouted out in my next video, please comment down. Shout out. And you might be shouted out in my next video. Woo -woo. All right, you guys. So that's going to be the end of this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next one. Besitos a ti. Y...